Blessings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have yet a word of encouragement for you. This is also a word of direction, actually, to those that are watching me right now. I know some of you have been watching me for a very long time. Things have not been working in your life. You have been asking God why things are not working. Some of you have been frustrated by people because people have disappointed you. People have uh, forsaken you. People have rejected you. Some of you, you have been rejected for a very long time. It has been a hurting process. The process is unpleasant. Some of you, the way people look at you, it's a despising way. But I want to encourage you that God will never despise you. The reason as to why some people despise you is because they know exactly what is in the inside of you. They may not understand, but they have a glimpse of what is in the inside of you. What God has done in you. So my brothers and sisters, don't you get worried. Of who likes you, of who hates you, of who does this and this. Today's word for you is, you are breaking limits. Limitations. You are breaking them. Some of you, you have been limited for a very long time. It's no doubt. And you can see it in your life. That there has been a spirit of limitation. You are almost there. But you are ne you are never there. Some of you are everywhere. But you are nowhere. It is a spirit of limitation. Something has been limiting your life. But I want to encourage you. That God has given you power and authority to break the limitations. To break the chain of you. No matter who said words of discouragement to you. It does not matter. It does not matter what people can say to you. Some of them have spoken ill against you. Some of you people have given you negative and bad reports. Reports at work, your workplace are negative. You go to the doctor's office, those reports are negative. It seems like your life is going down. But I want to encourage you that God has good plans for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you a brighter future. You are breaking limitations. Limitations, you're breaking them. When Jesus came, of course, people said that nothing good comes out of Nazareth. That was the, the saying. That was the narrative. When Jesus even spoke in the synagogue, they said, isn't this the son of Joseph the carpenter? They did not believe what, what would proceed out of his mouth. The way in which Jesus did his miracles, it was unheard of. It was unusual. It was unusual. Some of you people are, are having at that saying, isn't this the son of this, the daughter of this? Because they cannot understand your life. Your life is a mystery to them. Of course, some of them have called you weaklings. And you have believed the fact that you are weaklings. But you are not weaklings. You are not nobodies. You see, God does not call nobodies. No. God does not call nobodies. Gideon believed that he was a weakling. He believed that he was a nobody. And it was a somebody. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, the angel of the Lord said, Oh, mighty man of valor. Some of you, in the presence of God, you are mighty men and women of valor. People, actually, you are uh, deliverers of your families. Some of you are watching me right now. You are family deliverers. You are chain breakers. Look at Moses. Moses did not know that he was, he, was, he, was, he was a deliverer. He was going to deliver Israel. But God used him. Look at the life of Moses. How he went through. He was born at a time when they were killing uh, the first male children. They were killing them. And he was saved. He grew up in Egypt. He studied their customs. He was well versed in their, in their tradition and God called him out of that culture and told him to come 
back to deliver his children. Some of you, God is using you. To know how strong you are, look at the attacks you are facing. The bigger the attacks, the more enemies that attack you is an indication that you are strong. The size of your enemy determines how strong you are. It doesn't matter whether you are small in, in, in physical statue. It doesn't matter. But in the spiritual realm, you are strong. Ask yourself, why would a big number of enemies surround you to attack you? Why don't they send one person? If you're not strong, why don't they send one person? Why do they attack you? Why do you have attacks from attack, from attack, from attack? Why? Because you are strong in the Lord. You are strong in the Lord. Look at David. He looked small. To an extent, even people did not believe that he would deliver Israel. But when he fought Goliath, Goliath mocked him. David kept quiet. He spoke one word. Or some words, he said that you're coming to me with a, uh, a sword and a spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. It required one stone for Goliath to, to, to go down. So my brothers and sisters, you are breaking limitations. He look at David's life. They even didn't expect him. When the prophet Samuel came to him, he did not expect David to be the king. But God has chosen David. God has chosen you. You are chosen. Remember, many are called. It is true, many are called. But if you are chosen, you are going to break that generational curse in your life. You are going to break that chain of poverty. You are going to break that problem of divorce in your family. That bloodline that has been affecting you. Those diseases through prayer. You are going to break it. My brothers and sisters, it is the end of the world. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Keep on praying. Believe in God. Until next time, Shalom.